Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good to see you and good to hear you again. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right, just give me a second. So I get something ready here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Just give me a second. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to call attendance. So if you just give me a second, when you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Okay, we start. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Adán Iglesias, presente, teacher. Okay, thank you, Adán. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome, Baudilio. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Presente, teacher. Ok. Welcome, Carlos. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Welcome, Edith. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ok. Uh, thank you, Ebert. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Acá bajo fuerte lluvia. Ok, thank you. Te escucha Welcome, algo José. suavecito. Ajá, sí me reporta. Ok, José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Karen Yulisa todavía tiene ingresada a su bebé. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno. Gracias por notificarme. Vamos a poner acá. Ok. 
Ok. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Present. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Oscar. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present, teacher. Welcome, Saúl. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Wilber. Okay, I'm calling some of the names again. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Arles, presente. Okay, welcome, Arles. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present, teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Mónica. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Okay. Let's begin then. Welcome everybody. This is, uh, sorry. <laughs> this is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo Uno. And that's me, Ivan Doñang at your service. And this is session number five. Today is July 28th of 2023. Okay, so welcome this Friday. So what are we going to do? Take a look. How much is it? Okay, this is the snapshot, to the introduction to the section. Okay, so take a good look. Give me a moment. Sorry, I'm sneezing. Okay, so there's the snapshot. Okay, the meaning of colors in the United States. What's that? You have a, a series of colors and what they mean, or the, the, the emotions and feelings they are associated with. For example, you have the first one, which is green. And green uh, is associated with being jealous. What is the meaning of jealous? Do you know? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of jealous? Any idea? Okay, we're going to learn some vocabulary. Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena? Me están manchando la pantalla. <laughs> Eh, su micrófono, María Magdalena. Okay. Hello, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. jealous. What's, what's the Amarillo. meaning? 
No, that's a different word. Okay, that's the word yellow. Ouch. But yellow is is okay. This is different. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. So what do we have right here? Jealous. Okay. Jealous means celoso, celosa. Okay. That's the meaning of jealous. Okay. Queriendo borrar. Okay, so uh, jealous means celoso or celosa. So that's green, it's associated with being jealous. What about the second one? You have yellow, okay, which is amarillo. Yellow means happy, okay? Then what do you have? You have orange. Orange is fun. Fun, which means divertido. Okay. Then you have red, okay? Red is associated with being exciting. Exciting means emocionante. So some vocabulary here, exciting means emocionante. Pink, pink, associated with being loving, amoroso, cariñoso, right? Loving. Purple is associated with being mysterious, misterioso, misteriosa. Brown, the color brown is associated with being friendly, amistoso o amigable. Black is associated with being sad, triste, right? Gray, associated with being boring, aburrido. White is associated with being pure, puro, and blue, is associated with being truthful. Ser sincero, cierto. Okay, that's the meaning of truthful. So that's the meaning of colors in the United States. Now, some colors have a positive meaning and some colors have a negative meaning. For example, green is jealous, that's negative. Yellow is happy, that's positive. Orange is fun, positive. Red, exciting, that's also positive. Pink, loving positive. Purple, mysterious. I will say neither positive nor negative, okay? Brown, friendly, that's positive. Black, sad, that's negative. Gray, boring, that's negative. White, pure, that's positive. And blue, truthful, that's also positive. So here we go. I have a question. What is your favorite color? You can answer by saying, for example, my favorite color is, and then you say one color, or you can say my favorite colors are, and then you mention the colors, okay, that you like. Okay, you can say that. So my favorite color is, my favorite colors are. So who wants to participate? In my case, for example, my favorite colors are, uh, black, blue, and purple. Those are my favorite colors. David Antonio, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color is white. Okay, favorite color is white. Okay, that sounds good. Wilbur, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is um, pink. Pink, um, okay. Ah, pero como que es, cuando es plural es arbre. My favorite yes. color are mm -hmm. pink. Blue, um, me tapo ahí, teacher. Pink, blue, um, and brown. And brown. Okay, my favorite colors are pink, blue, and brown. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, Maria de Lourdes. My favorite colors are pink, blue, and purple. Pink, blue, and purple. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you for your participation. We have a chat entry right here. Jose Benjamin says present. Okay, Jose Benjamin, welcome. All right, let's continue. Uh, Jose Benjamin, yes. Teacher, este, vengo de Perkin y en una fuerte lluvia. Por si no participo es porque casi no escucho. Okay, 
it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so what's next? Lesson objective 3.0. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación sobre pronombres demostrativos mientras las personas van de compras. So it's a conversation. They're perfect for you. Okay? They're perfect for you. I'm going to play the track and I want you to listen to the conversation. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so... Page 16, exercise... Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I will need two volunteers to read this conversation. One, one man and one lady, please. One gentleman and one lady to read this. Need somebody to play Steve, somebody to play Maria. Wilbur, you will help us playing Steve. Now I need a lady here to play Maria. Maria Magdalena. Okay, Maria plays Maria. So, um, Wilbur, you begin. I'm going to zoom okay. in a little bit. Oh, <clears throat> pardon. I'm... Oh, look on the two earrings, Maria. Okay, look look at those earrings. Look on those earrings, Maria. Maria. Mm -hmm. They are perfect for you. That's real. No lo mueva, dice, porque estoy en el teléfono casi okay. en el libro. Ok, ok. There is one. I am not sure. No, this. Uh, perdón, me equivoqué. No, they yellow ones. Oh, this. Yellow mm, isn't. Really a good a good color for me. We oui, that uh, well, necklace sorry, well, well, well well that well, well that neck como se pronuncia la palabra teacher neck, neck, necklace neck instance bat or bat which one that blue one right there how much it is that it, blue one right there how much is it how much is it mm -hmm. it is for 42 dollars that's expensive hey let me give it for you it's your birthday it's birthday present happy birthday Okay. Thanks, All right. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. So, yeah, Steve says, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. Okay, the earrings. And Maria says, these red ones? I'm not sure. Steve says, no, the yellow ones. Maria says, oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Steve says, well, that necklace isn't bad. Necklace, right? Oh, yeah. Maria says, which one? Steve says, that blue one right there. How much is it? Maria says, it's $42. That's expensive. And Steve says, hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Wilber. Sí, teacher, en la parte que le toca a Steve. Eh, well, o oh, well, como era? That well. Mm -hmm. 
esa parte de esa palabra. Necklace. Bueno, necklace. 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 Just collar. That necklace isn't bad. Ok. David Antonio. Dice, esta dice, oh, no, a dos earrings. Those earrings. You know, uh, women wear earrings. Ok. These are the earrings. Can you see? Yeah. Thank you, Los aritos, right? Those are the earrings. Okay, any other questions about the vocabulary? No more questions? Okay, then we continue. Lesson objective, this is 3.2. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, and those to express possible choices. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de usar pronombres demostrativos, este, esta, estos, 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 aquel, 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 para expresar posibles elecciones. That's lesson objective 3.2. So take a look. Grammar focus. Demonstratives, one and once. Okay, we have studied this before also in previous levels. So nothing new right here. You say, how much is, the first thing is, how much? We're talking about money. When you say how much is, cuánto, cuánto dinero, okay? How much is this necklace, this one, okay? This. How much are these earrings? How much are these, okay? How much is that necklace. How much is that one? How much are those earrings? How much are those? You can also ask, which one? Well, you say the blue one, el azul, or la azul. It's $42. You can say, which ones, when it's plural, which ones? You say the yellow ones. Los amarillos or las amarillas, right? They are $18. Talking about prices, you have this is $42. You can also say this, this one like this. You say $59.95, $59.95. Or you can say it completely and say $59.95. Okay, so those are demonstratives one and once. Before that, in a moment. Yes, okay. So, um, here's the extra information. This, that, these, and those. Nothing new here. We have studied this before. So this is singular, okay? This lady is saying, do you like this picture? Why this? Because she's holding it. I can say, for example, this mouse, okay? Because I can touch it. I'm holding the mouse, okay? I say this mouse, it's near. So do you like this picture? Te gusta este cuadro, right? The plural form is these, these. You say these flowers are for you. Estas flores son para ti. These flowers are for you. So remember, when things are near, when you can touch them, okay, you use this and these. This picture means this picture here. You say these flowers means these flowers here. Okay, that's the idea. All right, so, um, there's a difference in pronunciation also. And you have to be careful with that. You have the singular form. And you have the plural form. Okay. The pronunciation is, in this case, this. This. The sound is it, it, 
this, it, this, the plural form, these, these, the sound is E, E, it's different. Now listen again, this, 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 these, 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 singular, this, plural, these, okay? So you say, for example, this book, this class, this house. Plural form. You say, these books, these classes, these houses. Okay? So, listen to the pronunciation. This book, this class, this house, these books, these classes, these houses. All right? So be careful right there because the pronunciation is similar, but it's not the same. Okay? The difference is important. So take a look. This picture, this picture here. These flowers, these flowers here. Now, what about the other case? You have that, that is singular. That is when things are far, far away, okay? I can't touch them, no, they are far. For example, he's saying, do you like that picture? Te gusta ese cuadro, right? Do you like that picture? It's far from me. And the plural is those, those. Who are those people? ¿Quiénes son esas personas? No están aquí, están lejitos, ¿verdad? Who are those people? So, when things are far, the singular form is that, and the plural form is those. You say that picture, that picture there. Those people, those people there. Okay? So, these are the demonstratives. This, these, that, and those. Singular, this and that. Plural, these and those. Near, this and these. Far, that and those. That's the idea. Okay. Now, take a look. We use this. Ah, sorry. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp so you can have it. Where is WhatsApp? Okay, uh, we have a chat entry. Okay, all right, so um, what is next? You have to use this, that, these, and those with a noun. For example, this picture, those girls, etc. or without a noun. Se puede ocupar con un sustantivo o sin el sustantivo. Las dos formas son posibles. You say, for example, with a noun, this hotel is expensive, but it's nice. This hotel, este hotel, right? This hotel is expensive, but it's nice. You can say, who is that girl? ¿Quién es esa chica, right? Who's that girl? And the person says, I don't know. Okay, so you use the demonstrative that with the noun girl. Do you like these shoes? I bought them last week. Say these shoes. You use the demonstrative these and the noun shoes. Those apples look nice. Can I have one? Those apples. Esas manzanas se ven ricas. Me da una. Okay, can I have one? So you use demonstratives with a noun. But it's also possible to use them without a noun. También se pueden ocupar sin el sustantivo. Por ejemplo, usted dice this... It's a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. Si ustedes se fijan acá, ocupan this e inmediatamente después no es necesario poner el sustantivo. Solo dicen this, porque su interlocutor ya entiende que está hablando del hotel. ¿Eh? This is a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. You can say, excuse me, 
is this, te enseña, ¿verdad? Is this your bag? Say, oh, yes, thank you. And then you can say, who's that? Okay. No es necesario decir, who's that person or who's that girl? No es que esté mal, solo que no es necesario porque se entiende. Es como que usted diga en español, ¿Quién es ese? O ¿Quién es esa? No tiene que decir quién es esa persona, no necesariamente. So you say, who's that? That means, who is that person? Which shoes do you like better? These or those? Okay. ¿Cuáles zapatos te gustan más? ¿Estos o esos? Okay. These or those. So again, you can use the demonstratives, this, that, these, and those, with a noun, or you can use them without a noun. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Okay. Me reportan varios que están teniendo problemas por la fuerte lluvia. Por favor, siempre recuerden que eh, deben notificar directamente a los encargados del grupo de WhatsApp. En este caso, serían Flor Sánchez, ¿verdad? También Jason Bautista y Paola Iglesias. Ok, voy a ponerlo acá en el grupo. Fisher, uh -huh. también en Sierra Gavidia lo sacó por la fuerte tormenta que está cayendo. ¿A quién, perdón? A José Benjamín Gavidia. José Benjamín Gavidia, ah, ok, perfecto. Vaya, vamos a notificar. Santos, Mauricio Arias Valle ya está presente. Ok. Thank you very much. Gracias por decirme. Eh, de nuevo, ¿verdad? Si, si están teniendo problemas, pueden okay. comunicarlo directamente al grupo de WhatsApp. Pueden decirle eh, directamente a los encargados, que son Flor Sánchez, Jason Bautista y Paola Iglesias. ¿Verdad? Ok, so you have one and ones. ¿Qué son estos? Son pronombres. They are pronouns. ¿Para qué se ocupan los pronouns? Para no repetir las palabras que ya dijimos. For example, one is singular. You say, which one do you want? Ya está hablando de sombreros, ¿verdad? Está viendo los sombreros y alguien le pregunta a usted, ¿cuál quiere? Usted no le va a preguntar, ¿cuál qué? <ríe> ya sabe que está hablando de sombreros y los sombreros es lo que le está enseñando. Entonces, no es necesario decir, which hat do you want? Ya se sobreentiende que está hablando de sombreros, por lo tanto, usted tiene que decir únicamente, which one do you want? Okay, and he says this one, este. Okay, no tiene que decir this hat porque ya saben que está hablando de sombreros. So when you say which one means which hat. One can be a hat, a car, a flower, a person, etc. Many different things. Which car is yours? ¿Cuál carro es el tuyo? Which car is yours? This one or that one? Este. O aquel. Para no decir this car or that car, porque sería muy repetitivo, lo diría tres veces en una sola línea, entonces decimos one. Which car is yours? This one or that one? This car or that car? The same thing happens with once, but once is plural. Okay? So, which ones do you want? ¿Cuáles quieres? Okay? You have red flowers and white flowers. And he says the white ones. Las blancas, ¿ok? No tiene que decir las flores blancas, porque ya se entiende que está hablando de flores. So, the white ones. So, you say which ones, that means which flowers. Ones means hats, cars, flowers, people, etc. María Magdalena. Teacher, no sé si... Solo yo seré, pero casi no le escucho, fíjate, y el tema está bien, bien importante, uh -huh. pero, pero no sé cómo vamos a hacer para reforzarlo, porque yo casi no le escucho, no, no sé si usted a mí. Yo sí le escucho bien. Okay. Que lo 
que decía al inicio también, teacher. Perdón, uh -huh. ahí que interrumpo. Dígame. Ajá. Creo que ahorita por la, la cuestión del, de la lluvia le está interrumpiendo bastante. De cualquier manera, eh, acuérdense que todas estas clases quedan grabadas. Así que igual, después solo entra a la lista de reproducción de YouTube y lo puede repasar durante el fin de semana. Lamentablemente, en este momento creo que el, 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 el clima está interfiriendo demasiado con, con la clase. Creo que por el ruido y también por bueno cuestiones de señal de internet. Así que allí, sí, lamentablemente, por lo menos en mi poder, no puedo, no, 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 no hay nada que yo pueda hacer. Eh, sin embargo, sí recuerden, y les repito, que la clase siempre queda grabada y siempre queda a disposición. Acuérdense que cada clase, y les voy a poner la lista, después de cada clase, el docente, ¿verdad?, encargado, hmm, no quiere cargar la lista, bueno. Cuando cargue se lo voy a mostrar. Pero el docente encargado siempre deja, ¿verdad? La clase subida en la plataforma en YouTube. De manera que ustedes puedan eh, visualizarlo posteriormente. ¿Verdad? En caso que hayan tenido problemas para participar en la clase. O conectarse. O cualquier otro problema técnico. La clase siempre queda grabada y ustedes pueden verla después. Cecia Gemima. Good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good todo. Good evening. Okay. Buenas noches. Eh, solo decirle que aquí sí la escucho perfectamente. Y ah, okay. tengo otra consulta. Teacher, estas clases que quedan grabadas son al público o solo para los alumnos de, in de inglés corporativo? Fíjese que no sabría decirle, no estoy seguro. No, no estoy ah, seguro. Ah, ok. Ajá. Pero es sí, que queda... tenemos ahí como una pregunta que nos estábamos haciendo ahora que pues sí, verdad hay, hay compañeros que son agentes y eso, y si queda público, público es como exponerlos uh -huh. por demás uh -huh. vaya, en ese caso eh, sería de exponer esa, esa inquietud, verdad, a los directamente al personal de inglés corporativo porque Honestamente, lo que me está diciendo, sí, ¿verdad? Es un poquito delicado el tema. Um, sería de, de que les consultasen. Yo les recomiendo, yo les puedo decir, pero yo les recomiendo que ustedes también directamente les consulten, porque así también, eh, digamos, les hacen un poquito más de caso, ¿verdad? No es que no me hagan caso a mí, ¿verdad? Pero entre más personas insistan en el tema pues es más fácil que le presten atención y que eh, se haga algo al respecto, si hay algo que se pueda hacer. Y es interrogante que teníamos hoy porque hemos dado bastante información personal en cada clase, ah, en las prácticas uh -huh. y todo eso. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Gracias, uh, voy a, Les voy a comunicar hey, a ellos. Ok, thank you. Les voy a comunicar a ellos y pues eh, en caso que fuesen públicos los videos, entonces, bueno, vamos a ver cómo... Tal vez se puede hacer algo, pues, para ponerlo de manera privada. Pero, de nuevo, no, es, no, es, no está en mi poder, sino en el poder de, verdad, del personal administrativo de inglés corporativo. Así que le vamos a exponer la inquietud. Y, pues, les invito también a que ustedes eh, le, le digan directamente a ellos también, pues, para que se agilice el proceso en caso que pueda hacerse algo al respecto, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, let's continue. Diego Mendoza, por aquí, nos visitan del personal de inglés corporativo. Hola, Diego. No sé si nos está hablando, yo no escucho nada, no sé los compañeros, ¿escuchan a Diego? Diego Mendoza de inglés corporativo. No, please. I'm... No, aparentemente no se escucha. No, teacher. Hola, hola. Me escucho. Ok, hola Diego. Hola, buenas noches. Le decía Diego Mendoza de Inglés Corporativo. Solo comentarles a todos sobre lo que estaban escuchando el, el, lo que estaban haciendo mención. Respecto a los videos que se suben a la plataforma, esos videos están disponibles únicamente para las personas que tienen el enlace, los cuales seríamos pues nosotros el personal el teacher José Iván y ustedes como estudiantes, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, 
Y agradecemos sus comentarios y los vamos a hacer llegar, en este caso a Jason, que es el coordinador del programa, para que él pueda ver de qué manera les aseguramos, ¿verdad? Que todos estén un poquito más privado para ustedes y sobre todo tengan la certeza y la seguridad que su información, eh, tanto de inscripción como la que brindan durante la clase, está 100% desbordada tanto por nosotros como por Ok, muchísimas gracias, eh, Diego, por la aclaración. Ok, let's continue. What time is it? 7.42. All right. So, again, right, you say which ones means which flowers. Ones is a pronoun that you can use to substitute any plural noun, like hats, cars, flowers, people, etc. Which flowers do you want? These or those, or you can say, which flowers do you want? These ones or those ones, okay? Nothing new here. And finally, you can use the and one. Take a look. I don't like the black jacket. No me gusta la chaqueta negra, but I like the brown one. Pero me gusta la marrón, okay? I like the brown one. The brown one. La café o la marrón. Don't buy that camera. Buy the other one. Okay? Compra la otra. Okay? Buy the other one. You can also use the and ones. I don't like the red shoes, but I like the green ones. No me gustan los zapatos rojos, pero me gustan los verdes. Don't buy those apples. Buy the other ones. No compres esas manzanas. Compra las otras. You can also use a and n with one. For example, this cup is dirty. Can I have a clean one? Esta taza está sucia. Me puede dar una limpia, okay? Can I have a clean one? That cookie was good. I'm going to eat another one, okay? Esa galleta estaba buena, Liz. Me voy a comer otra, okay? I'm going to eat another one. You can also use some with ones. These cups are dirty. Can we have some clean ones? My shoes are very old. Uh, I'm going to buy some new ones. Before we continue, I'm going to send you a screenshot of this. Okay, just a moment. Screenshot number one, screenshot number two. Okay, so what are we going to do? This is knowledge check 3.4. If we go back to this, just give me a moment. I'm just going to show the slide once again, just to make sure everything is clear. Okay, again, here's the grammar focus. Demonstratives, you say, how much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is, okay? How much are? these earrings how much are these how much is that necklace how much is that one how much are those earrings how much are those you say which one well the blue one it's 42 dollars which ones the yellow ones they are 18 dollars okay now we have an exercise right here Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Who wants to participate? How much are those jeans? ¿Qué le preguntará acá? Which? Ever Enrique. Which ones? Which ones? Ah, oh, perdón. Que lo pasamos, que se mira mejor. How much are those jeans? Which ones do you mean? Se refiere a, right? Do you mean? This? 
Do you mean these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say that. Do you mean these? Or you can say, do you mean the dark blue ones? Okay. Do you mean these? Se refiere a estos. And uh, she says, no. Raise your hand if you know. Mm -hmm. How about that? Ever Enrique. No, the light blue one. The light blue ones. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Ah, so she says, oh. Mm -hmm. Saúl Ernesto. Uh, the microphone, please. Oh, they are 59.95. Correct. You can say these are 59.95 or they are 59.95. Correct. Okay. So the conversation goes like this. She's asking, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Están lejito, por eso dice those jeans. And she says, which ones? Do you mean these? Las tiene cerca. Or do you mean the dark blue ones? And she says, no, the light blue ones. Okay, los celestes. And she says, oh, these are, or they are 59.95. And she says, almost 60. Are you kidding? Those are expensive. What about the second conversation? He begins. What are the demonstratives? Okay, Evert. I I like I like backpack over there. How much is it? Okay, but I like what word can you use to complete the sentence? I like okay, teacher. I like again. I like that backpack. That backpack over there. Okay. Yes. How much? How much each? It's it. How much is it? That's correct. Okay, good. How much is it? Great. We have a chat entry here. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias, presente. Presente, presente, teacher. Presente. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. También Erika ya está presente. Okay. Thank you very much. Santos Mauricio también ya está presente. María de Lourdes. Which one? Which one? Okay. Good. Thank you. And the answer is? The answer the red one. The red one. Okay. The red one. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Maria. What about uh, B? It says it's twenty-seven forty-nine, but Okay, how about this one? Uh, 
María de Lourdes. But the green one is only 24, um, 22. 25, 20, 22, 25. Okay. 22, 25. Yes. It's 27.49, but this green one or the green one is only 22.25. And he says, okay, let me see it, please. Okay, let me see it. All right, that is great. Now, um, we don't have much time, but we're going to continue. This is Knowledge Check 3.4. So everybody, please work on the exercise on the platform. So this is an extra exercise. Choose the correct sentences to complete this conversation. Okay, choose the correct sentences to complete this conversation. So uh, Sam says, look at those pants, Rebecca. And Rebecca says, you have to choose from the box, which ones? The light blue ones over there, they are nice. Now you have to select the line from the box to complete the sentence. What is the next one? It's a copy paste exercise. You only have to choose the right sentence. Ever. Yes, but I don't really like light blue. Yes, but I don't really like light blue. Okay, good. Thank you, Ever. That's correct. Okay, Sam says, hmm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Rebecca says, raise your hand if you know. Ever Enrique. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Mm, not exactly. If you notice, Sam says this red one. So it's a different thing. Adán Iglesias. Oh, Sam. Thank you very much. Mm, no, not really. It's not that one. But thank you for participating. If you notice, Sam says, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. And then Rebecca says, David. Which one? Which one? What? Which one? And Sam says, yeah, correct. Thank you, David. Sam says, this red one, este rojo, okay, this red one. And then what does Rebecca say? Maria de Lourdes, and then Cecia Gemima. Well, I like, I like it, but it's expensive. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Thank you, Maria Lourdes, that's correct. And Sam says, hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. And Rebecca says, says yeah. Um, yes, but I don't really like light blue. Mm, ya ocupamos ese. Ay, perdón. Mm -hmm. No puedo. Well, uh... Oh, ah, perdón, ya se los regaló. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Cecia. So Sam says, look at those pants, Rebecca. Rebecca says, which ones? Sam says, the light blue ones over there. They are nice. Rebecca says, yes, but I don't really like light blue. Sam says, mm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Rebecca says, which one? Sam says, this red one. Rebecca says, well, I like it, but it's expensive. 
Sam says, hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. And Rebecca says, oh, Sam, thank you very much. Next exercise. Complete these conversations with how much is, how much are, and this, that, these, or those. Number one. Usted ahí ve que lo está tomando con la mano. Por lo tanto, how much is this backpack? It's $31.99. What about number two? Bracelets. Brazaletes, right? María de Lourdes. How much are those bracelets? How much are those bracelets? Okay, how much are those bracelets? Correct. Okay, very good. They're $29. Number three. Number three. Cecia Gemima. Eh, un momentito. Ay, no puedo. Ah, ya. Perdón que estoy en el teléfono y me fue. No problem. How much are those shoes? How much are those shoes? Okay. Those shoes. But look, she's holding the shoes with her hand. Ah. How much these no how much how, are these shoes? How much are these shoes? Okay. How are much these are shoes? these shoes? Okay. Give me a moment, please. And the last one, number four, David. How much is this cup? Está lejitos. How much is? This. Mm -mm. How much? Es un gato y está lejitos. There. David? Next to each other. Uh, can you repeat the answer, please? How much? Or maybe somebody can help us with this one? Maria de Lourdes? How much? How much um, is that cat? How much is that cat? Okay. How much is that cat? And they say, that's my cat and he's not for sale. Ese mi gato y no está la venta. Okay, he's not for sale. Okay, good. There you go. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to take attendance one more time because uh, me comunican por acá. Me dicen, por ejemplo, que... Señor Enrique Pérez Lemus tiene problemas de conexión, pero bueno, igual voy a llamar a todos los que no me han contestado aún, a lo mejor se han podido conectar este rato. Enrique Pérez Lemus, creo que no logró conectarse. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández, me parece que puso en el grupo que no iba a poder conectarse, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Déjeme revisar. Mala señal por la tormenta, dice. Ok, pero bueno. Tenemos a Franklin de la O, no se logró conectar. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. 
alguien sabe si sigue Iván Alexis porque se está constatando que se, bueno, no, no se ha conectado, solo una clase. Ok, Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio no se encuentra. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. No logró conectarse. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Ok. Karen Yulisa Ebert, dígame. Eh, teacher, el, pro, el señor Arrazábal no se pudo conectar porque está de turno, está trabajando. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, gracias por comunicarme. Eh, Karen Yulisa, ¿verdad? Me dijeron que no podía, una emergencia. Vamos a agregar una nota entonces. Ok, tenemos a Mauro Orlando Vázquez. Creo que tampoco logró conectarse. Y Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Bueno. Ok. Eh, la siguiente clase, ¿verdad? Sería el... Eh, Cecia, dígame. Consulta, ya me puso a mí la asistencia. Sí. <risa> Thank you, gracias. You're welcome. Ok. Eh, la siguiente clase es para el día lunes 31. Luego nos vamos de vacación del 1 al 6 de agosto. ¿De acuerdo? Así que tenemos una clase más antes de irnos de vacación, que sería la del lunes. Por favor, no vayan a faltar, ¿verdad? Hagan todo lo posible por estar en clase. Trabajen los ejercicios de la plataforma. De ahí el sería, quiero ver la fecha acá. El martes 1, miércoles 2... Jueves 3, viernes 4, ok, esos días no va a haber clase por motivo de vacación. Es decir, después del 31 nos veríamos de nuevo hasta el lunes 7 de agosto. Así que recuerden, el lunes 31 de julio tenemos clase, de ahí nos vamos de vacación y de ahí el siguiente lunes regresamos. Ok, everybody, thank you very much and uh, I will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good Happy holiday. Bye. Happy weekend. <laughs>